Hey Vera City, welcome back to the channel. It's a girl Vermore, and I'm back with another reaction video. Today, guys, I'm going to be reacting to longtime Democrats voter. Okay, longtime Democrats voter shares how Donald Trump saved his life. Sorry, changed his life. A longtime Democrats voter shares how Donald Trump changed his life. Guys, I can't wait to get into this one. But before we get started, we have some amazing people watching us for the first time. If you are new here, hello, I'm Vera. I do reaction videos. We have two different artists on here. We have two different songs from all over the world. If this one said that you love, why not join Vera to sing? Hit the subscribe button below. Turn on the post notification bell so that you can always be the first person to know whenever a new video drops. And that's guys. Let's go. So in this video, this man explained to us why he left the Democrat Party, thank God, and he is now a Trump supporter. Listen to this. Uh, I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, I've been following President Trump since 2015. Wow. And why do you go? So, why, why does this matter so much to you? You, tr you travel across the country. I see you at all the rallies. Because Trump changed my life. I mean, I, I haven't been able to serve in a, a military and I'm not serving in Congress. So I feel like as a free American, we all have a responsibility and we all owe our country a great debt. So this is my way of paying my debt to our country wow. because I believe in what Trump stands for. When you say he changed your life, what do you mean? Uh, I come from St. Louis, Missouri. It's a very liberal place. Um, like like Trump said in one of his speeches, which actually caught my attention, he said, you guys live in squalor. African-Americans, you live in squalor. You, uh, you, you have the highest unemployment rate, the high crime rates, and, and things of that nature. He said, you've been voting Democrat your whole life. What do you have to lose with voting for me? And I really felt that, because I grew up in generational ignorance. Wow. So I didn't know. I voted for Obama because of the color of his skin. And I didn't like anything that he had done mm -hmm. when he was in office. So um, I didn't vote the second time around and I was starting to believe uh, like many Americans uh, feel sometimes that our vote doesn't matter but when Trump came out and he started giving his uh, doing these rallies he's very passionate about America and I felt that and so I felt like it was uh, it, it really made me want to get into politics and so he was talking about draining the swamp and I didn't know what he was talking about but uh, now in 2024 I totally understand everything that he was talking about and I support him a hundred percent so how did you change your life? Wow. Like, ben, wow. Asking, I mean, asking, you didn't give asking, up on us. I'm not hold, giving hold, up on him. Ben, Ben. Say, wait, wait, Steve. Ha, ha, say, ben, wait, ask, say that one more time. Ben, what part is that? Trump didn't ben, hit Trump. I mean, the they, two, they're ridiculing the, the man. They're embarrassing him. They're embarrassing our country. Wow. Uh, that man is wealthy. That man was famous. He's famous. He's all of these great things. If they can do it to Trump, then they can do it to us. So I'm going to back him 100%. He didn't give up on America, and I'm not giving up on him. Wow. I'm going to be at every rally. He's going to make me cry. At every rally. I'm going to scream his name. I'm going to yell his name. I'm going to keep the crowd going. I'm going to bring awareness to Trump. Mm. All right. Go ahead, Steve. What are the two? Hang on. What are the two or three things Trump stands for that he that 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 he it resonates with him? What is it that actually Trump does? His actions? What is actually the thing that Trump does that he stands for? Mm. What are the top two or three things that Trump stands for that that matter to you? America first. America first. Please. I mean how passionate he is about America. Mm. Me coming from St. Louis, I. up in poverty. I grew up thinking wow. a totally different way. I love, that's one, keeping our country for uh, uh, first. We want to be first in infrastructure. We were uh, 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 a model for the world to follow, you know, and Trump is very passionate what? when he speaks about putting America first again and making us uh, first with infrastructure, with education, and, and with uh, the, our economy. Those things matter to me. Second, education. You wow. know, um, 
critical race theory. I am a product of critical race theory. They were telling me that it was because of uh, the white man that I couldn't succeed. Uh, because of the rich, I couldn't succeed. That's not what it is at all. So how he speaks about education, that really means a lot to me because I was miseducated. I graduated exactly. high school and didn't know how to read. I taught myself how to read. So education you, really means a lot to so me. Does. And our economy and our vets. So I'll give you, that's, that's four. Our economy. I'm a business owner now. I employ people. I help others succeed. Mm. I give others hope to you know one day to start maybe start for the uh, working for themselves. And then our vets, these people, right when there. everybody's running away from danger, they're running toward it. Mm. We need to give them and our police force a lot more respect than what we do. We give entertainers and athletes, we pay them way more and give mm. them way more attention. But those people who, but those people who go out and risk their lives every day so we can have these liberties and freedom them in our country we pay them no mind and they're underpaid and underappreciated and trump is very passionate about bringing awareness to those situations wow thank you then ask, wow. ask him ask him hang on wow. keep What's him right there the ask him is the black is particularly men in the black community uh, african-american males are, does he believe they're starting to awaken to the fact that the democratic party is taking advantage of them so you you talked about your journey coming here and that awakening to what President Trump said. You've been you've been voting for Democrats for years. Do you think that awakening is happening across the black community? Um, absolutely. I think it's happening all across America. Um, I've, uh, again, I've been to 49 states. I just left Mexico. I just went to go check out the border. Mm. People are in support of Trump. My it's not always say. shown on mainstream media. I mean, you got the Asian community that's backing Trump. You got the Latino community that's backing Trump. So it's not just the black community. It's Americans, true Americans, are waking up to what's going on in this country. And people are uh, educating themselves. And thanks to Trump, educating us to, uh, to, to look and get information for ourselves and not just listen Listen to the news, not just listen to our parents or our neighbors, because, again, I come from generational ignorance. So I just re regurgitated what I used to hear instead of doing uh, my own research. So people are waking up all around. The Wow, that's nice. Oh my God. I'm gonna make me cry. from my experience traveling to all of these different places. My last question, you mentioned the United States of America versus what we're living now. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's why I, I'm, I'm very loud at all these rallies. We supposed to be the United States of America. That's what they call us, the United States of America. But we have become the divided states of America. We are we're divided on so many different uh, so many different levels. Whether it's our skin color, our age, our uh, our sex, our gender, our uh, economic uh, uh, status, we're divided in every aspect of life, and we have to stop being so divided. What makes United States so beautiful is that we are a 
melting pot. Everybody is welcome. We have to do things the right way, but everybody is welcome in America and everybody has the right to pursuit of happiness. And I really do believe that. Growing up in St. Louis, Missouri, I didn't believe that. I thought it was a bunch of malarkey. But being able, uh, after listening to Trump and coming to these rallies, I had more, uh, I had more uh, self-respect for myself and I changed my mindset and it was able to change my life and the way that I live and the life of my family. Amazing. Just an incredible. Ben, hang, incredible ben, 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 hang, hang on. Ben, ben, ben one, one last question. At Capitol Hill, they refused to close the border over this week, refused to stop the invasion. He's been to the border. But all weekend, we're going to be covering nonstop, giving $60 billion to Ukraine for their border. His thoughts. Yeah. So right now, the battle's going on. You just said he came from the border. They're, they're, they're talking about giving $60 billion to Ukraine's border, to their to their war, but not doing anything for ours. What do you think about that? Um, I'm sick of it, you know. Um, there's so many things in our country that need to be fixed, that we need to be paying attention to. And I don't know if the American people have lost their way or understand what this country is built on, but politicians work for us. Oh and we need to remind them that they work for us. And that's what I love about, uh, again, what I love about Trump is that he, 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 t he tell us these countries owe us money. They owe us. Why are we paying? So why are we in debt? You know, what made me fall in love with Donald Trump at first was this program he did where he was helping young business entrepreneurs. I can't remember the, the name of that program, but he made it into a series where it would say you are hired, you are fired. He was grooming some young business entrepreneurs, help them grow their business. He tell them, he gives them tax, so anyone that is able to meet up, then the number reduced, reduced. Then he, they are the winner, and he supported that person's business. Donald Trump is a billionaire, so he has his own money. He has his own money. I wish we could have someone like Donald Trump in Nigeria, for real. Like he has his own money. He doesn't need your money. He doesn't. Your money means nothing to him. And most people call him a racist. I don't even get why. Like look at this man. He said he has been to forty. Is it forty nine or forty six? Forty six states. That is a lot. And it is crazy. His passion is driving me. I don't think Donald Trump even knows him directly. Does Donald Trump have any connection with him? Does he know Donald Trump? Like, have his contact? Is Donald Trump giving him money? I don't think so. So this man has realized that enough is enough. He realized that enough is enough. We need to get out of this suffering. In, in fact, all the reasons is stated, education, especially the one he talked about, the vets, like the police force, the soldiers. If you've been watching my videos, I used to talk about soldiers. There was a video I was talking about um, 13 minutes in Benghazi, a true life story that was um, made into a movie. Those soldiers, innocent soldiers, they were killed for nothing. For nothing. And these people, they are families. They are families. They are not orphans. Even if they are orphans, nobody deserves to die. They took them all the way to Afghanistan just to go and die. No help came. Nobody came to help them. They were outnumbered. It is crazy. These people are risking their lives for citizens like us, yet they are underpaid. You know, there was a time I was traveling and this policeman, policeman on the road, they're always collecting money from drivers. See them, they collect 100 naira, 200, money that is even meaningless. And in my mind, I'll be like, these people, they must be underpaid. Because for them to collect money from drivers it means they are hungry they are underpaid if you are paying these police officers if you are paying them well 
they would not be begging for money from drivers. They won't be begging for money. Even if we say, okay, some are greedy. If you are paying them, at least, at least 80% won't be collecting money. If we say, okay, some people can actually be greedy. But practically 99% of police officers collect money. They beg for money from us. They practically beg for money. They are, they are not well paid. It is crazy. I wish you had someone like Donald Trump in Nigeria. Someone that has money. Someone that has that brain. That has that mentality. That loves the country. And is not after money. Like, enough is enough. I admire his courage. You can see that fire burning in him. If, even if Donald Trump doesn't win, the next election is still going to vote campaign for Donald Trump. I can see that fire in him. And he, he, he made me cry. Like, he made me cry. Because I could see that determination in him. He believes so much in Donald Trump. I wish you have people like that in my own country. Because in Nigeria, once you give them money, once you bribe them, that's the end. A few years ago, we did a voting. We did a presidential election. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I've never voted before in my life. But when I saw that the suffering was too much, the suffering was too much, I made sure I voted during the last presidential election. The procedure to get your voter's card is so stressful and hectic. But I told myself, I don't care. I don't care sleeping in you guys' office. But I must get my voter's card. I must vote for the right person. I spoke to so many people about it. And they're like, I'm not ready to go through that stress. I can't stress myself. I don't have time to vote. It's a waste of time because it is who they want that will get in. I don't want to go with that mentality anymore. I told myself I'm going to vote. And I made sure I voted. I made sure I voted. But at the end of the day, the election was rigged. With ev evidence was everywhere. But then the system is too corrupt. It's just too corrupt. But that doesn't mean that the next presidential election, that I'm not going to vote. Because I'm still going to come out. I'm still going to vote. I'm still going to vote for the right person. It's just sad. I'm still make sure, I'll still make sure that I vote for the right person. Until until we have the right president, I'm not going to give up. Because this suffering is too much. We are suffering. Bad government. I was actually holding back the tears, but eventually the tears just had to come down. Okay, you know what? Let me just end it here. Guys, what do you think about this video? Let me know in the comments. What country are you watching this from? What is going on in your country right now? I would love to hear. We can change our country. There's something he said. He said the politicians work for us. But these days, we're the one working for them. The politicians are meant to work for us. Where are we paying so much money? All for what? All for what? The suffering is too much. All for what? What exactly? Mm, let me just end it here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. Let me hear your thoughts about this. What do you think about this video? Drop a comment. What country are you watching this from? Drop a comment down below. 
Thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.